Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lubella Gauna and here I am again on a new video. I'm going to be reacting to another new video. But anyways, thank you so much for all of you that have followed me, that have supported me, my new followers, my new subscribers. Thank you Shukran Y. You guys are like the best. Honestly, I'll be very honest with you. I do not take you for granted. I am so grateful and I thank Allah every day to have you all follow me and support me with my music or my videos. Um, you guys are the ones that like the videos. Sometimes I feel dumb doing the videos. <laughs> like, I feel like, oh my gosh, what's the purpose of this, you know? Because um, a lot of these videos that I do the reactions, I don't have the copyright, so I don't get paid. But I do it because you guys can see my personality, you guys can see how I react, you guys can see what I think and my opinions. Oh, and about my opinions, whatever I say on these reactions, people please know that I am not an expert in Islam. I am not an expert in anything. I am not like this professor or whatever. So anything that I say, my opinions, my thoughts, what I think, it's just what I personally think. So don't think bad. Don't say, oh, you don't know nothing or, oh, you think you're all that, like, or you're wrong. But I ask people, like, you know what? You think what you think. I think what I think. These are my opinions. You have your own opinions. We all have the right to have our opinions. Um, I think a lot of other YouTube people, they're like dumb. They're, sometimes they're just like, oh, and, uh, and it's like, I don't know. I think it's just like so fake. I like doing this. Like right now that I'm talking to you, you guys can see my personality. You guys can see how I am and whatever, um, how I think, how I, th uh, how I talk. Some of you guys make fun of me because of my facial expressions. I can't help it. I'm Mexican. Mexicans, we talk with our face. But anyways. Um, so I get a lot of links of people wanting me to react to certain things. But I said, Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which one am I going to do? And I'm doing this one. The meaning of life is Muslim spoken words. This is gentleman that talks about Islam. So I'm going to listen to it and then react to it. You know, the typical. So, let's go. Oh. What are we doing here? And where are we gonna go? It's like we just woke up one morning and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can. And try your best not to get broke Can't be everything you see on the TV From the hairstyles to the clothes And don't think too often Just do exactly as you're told And if you ever get confused Then just turn towards the alcohol you still hear your thoughts Then just turn up the radio As you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex and rock and roll But in all honesty I just need to know is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the casket's closed. Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul nor am I ready to take any chances. These are just simple life questions and I'm just searching for some answers. Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here and who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go or is this world all really worth it? Questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to. There's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural. Then in that case, please let me ask you, did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Because you're a being that's impeccable, faultless and unparalleled. You're a product of supreme intelligence and I'm merely being rational. For there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs yet we still deny a science tries to justify that all this could come from none When it's a simple sum Zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one so from where did all this order come? 
But everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of everything along with every single soul. The ever-living, the master, the only one who is in control. Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination. And no, he's not a man, nor does he have any partners in association. He's on his own. And no, he did not ever leave us alone. Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being. It's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. Like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below. And the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. To the planets in orbit alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O. To the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh. To identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome. The gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone. And not a word has changed, it's still the same. So please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago. To a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angel spoke. And if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't. So we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. Not somebody who can't read or write gonna start a religion. Dismissed his scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk as we live life according to our whims, desires, and hopes. Saying this life is the only home we will ever know. We will live then die then simply turn to bones. Yo, lo. Correction, after the grass dies, the rain arrives and it regrows. And Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul. And bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes. As the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close. And we are surely being tested. In our wealth, our health, and our self. And everything that we've been blessed with. So believe for we will surely be resurrected. And be brought back to our Lord in account for every single deed. As he hands us our books and orders us to read. From the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability. So don't be mad at me. You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me. But you were busy in all that which was temporary. So read. And glad tidings to all of those who believed. And if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Wow. <clears throat> Did you guys see how I got goosebumps? Because everything he says, it's true. I know... It's my thoughts. Again, people, this year, these are my thoughts, but everything this gentleman was saying in this video is true. Um, I hate how people nowadays, they... It's all a show. Everybody pretends to be somebody. Everybody's pretending to impress people. People spend money to impress people that, they don't, that, that hate them. People um, will do anything 
for money, for drugs, for drinking, alcohol, all like the bad stuff. But if you were to take everything away, everything, money, title, position, everything, what would you be as a person? I think that is what counts. And it's true what he says. Allah is the one that created everything. It's like a miracle. I mean, if you really think about it, even science cannot explain it. Um, before I converted, my family, we've always said that, you know, God is a miracle. God is the one. God is the same as Allah. He's the one that created us. He's the one that can take us. We are here put as a test. We are here on earth to demonstrate what we are. So when we do go or when we pass away, he will let us know you did good, you did bad, whatever, from your good deeds. Good deeds, for those that don't know, good deeds meaning that you help people with your heart. Um, you give with your heart. You don't give something expecting something in return. Um, there's so many people that, I hate this, that they completely change when they receive a lot of money. People change as soon as they become popular or famous. I hate that because I know some people, they become so famous and they act like they don't know you. It's like, relax. You, the moment that you pass away, you're going to have nothing. So in reality, who are you? Nobody. We are here. Um, we are all, we all belong to God. We all belong to Allah. Um... And everything that the Quran says, even my parents say this, and my parents were Catholic. I grew up Catholic. I was born Catholic. But it's so similar, the Bible with the, uh, the Quran. And you know what my parents say? <laughs> People changed the Bible throughout the years. People changed it. I wouldn't doubt the Bible was the Quran. Bible was the Quran. And some person said, oh yeah, that's the Quran. Okay, well, you know what? I don't like this certain thing, so I'm going to make my own book. And I'm going to put it the way I want it. That's what I think. And that's what my parents think. Some people don't believe that. Some people are so stupid. They like, ugh, they're close-minded and stuff. And I'm saying people are so stupid. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just saying they're just ignorant. Ignorant meaning that they don't know. Um, but this is a very good video. It is a very good video. I just don't like the whole rap thing, like the way he was talking. I, I just don't, I don't know. Um, but I like the message that he was saying because I agree with it. I do agree. And again, people, I'm not an expert on any of this. I'm not a professional in any of this. So please, 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 please be respectful. These are my opinions. These are my thoughts. I'm not trying to teach people anything. I'm not. I'm just giving you what I think, what my opinion is. Um, it doesn't make me a person that you better do with this because this is what this is. No, I'm not like that. Um, I know that I grew up, my parents raised me with this mentality that everything you do, God is watching. All is watching. Everything good that you do, he will bless you ten times more. Everything bad, God knows what to do with you. You know, punish you in his way. So I always grew up with that mentality. I also grew up with the mentality of my father and my mom always telling me, always treat people the same. Always stay humble. One day you can have a lot of money. And one day God can take, take it away. One day you can have happiness and he can take it away. One day you can be very famous, and then the next day you can be nobody. So, overall, just be humble and treat everybody the same. Because you never know what can happen at the end. Um, also, um, my mom and dad always said that whatever you do behind doors is between you and Allah. You know, you and God. You can always show, you like, there's a lot, like, a lot of people like famous actors and actresses that I know because I work in Hollywood sometimes. I've known, I've met actors that on TV I say, oh my gosh, he's like so cool or she's so cool. And then I meet them in person and they're completely different. 
and it kind of like makes me mad i'm like what so you're just putting this show for everybody that you're oh such a nice person but you're stuck up and it makes me so mad because it's like why are you like that why and there's so many million of people that do this because everybody wants to pretend they're somebody everybody thinks that fame is everything everybody thinks that money is everything Ugh, but it's not people it's not people tell me bella you're so famous <laughs> I don't think I'm famous. It's just me. I'm just this poor Mexican girl. Um, but it just makes me mad. It just makes me mad how people don't take things. They don't. They don't. They're not grateful. They take things for granted. They. They. They don't think ahead. Like they don't think more than than what it is. Like I always am thinking, who created Earth? And who? It's a miracle how. God made us like so perfect and things like that because I'm just weird. I think about things like that, but um But anyways Again people anything that I say it's just my opinion my thoughts um, Be respectful with each other um, I just hate that like the whole world everybody's always fighting and wars are going everybody's killing people Because of leadership and they want to conquer and they want it's all about power and it's like people like leash like why nobody here on earth is the main person Allah is the main creator he's the one that owns us all and i just hate how everybody is always fighting i just wish we were just more peaceful um with each other and respectful but anyways that's it for today people i can keep going but i'm not going to continue we'll talk more on the other video thank you so much Subscribe to my video, comment, anything else that you guys want me to do reaction to, let me know. And again, people, thank you, thank you so much for all of you that have been donating for my father's cancer and your support. And I started this patronizing, patronizing? I don't know, like this link where um, that you support or you donate or whatever. It's in the bottom. Anyway, description. This is like the first time that I do it. But... If you guys really like my videos, please donate anything because it's for my father's uh, medical bills. It's like really killing us. Um, again, thank you so much. And like I said, again, um, I look at all your messages. I'm thankful. Sometimes I answer. Sometimes I can because there's just so many. And I'm really busy with my, doctor's, my father's doctor appointments and stuff. But I'm grateful with, for every single one of you. And ignore my stupid bird. I'm going to kill him. That's Diwa. He's a stupid bird. <laughs> it's my dad's bird. Anyways, that's not the point here. Thank you so much, people, and we'll see each other next time.